when you go on your next Royal Caribbean cruise, I've got 15 free things to try on that sailing up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Whether you're sailing to the Caribbean, Alaska, or Europe, cruise ships have some amazing things you can do on board, and a lot of it is included with your cruise fare. Let's jump right into it. Starting with Go Rock Climbing. Royal Caribbean first made a name for itself in onboard activities when they added a rock climbing wall to its cruise ships. They're now a staple of every single Royal Caribbean cruise ship, and the rock wall is an opportunity to challenge yourself to get to the top of the wall. There are even multiple courses on each wall that provide varying degrees of difficulty so you can keep increasing the stakes to reach the top. Number two on our list is play mini golf. I can't think of another family-friendly activity not involving water that resonates so well as mini golf does. Most Royal Caribbean cruise ships have a mini golf course where you can play nine or more holes as often as you like. Just like mini golf on land, the choice of keeping score or keeping it casual is up to you. My kids cheat profusely, but it's up to you how much you want to take it seriously or not. Next up on the list is sing karaoke. Usually, if you go to a karaoke bar on land, there's an expectation of a drink minimum, but not on Royal Caribbean. Karaoke is one of the most popular evening activities on any cruise ship, where you can see who has real skills, who thinks they have skills, and who is clearly on stage just to have a good time. You'll find karaoke held almost every night. Some ships actually have a dedicated karaoke lounge, and the song library is usually extensive enough to find something you know. But don't be hesitant if you think you might want to sing because the sign-up list tends to fill up quickly. If you have kids, look for special family and teen karaoke sessions where the crowds will be more tolerable and, of course, more families around that age. The next free thing you should try on a Royal Caribbean cruise is the water slides. For a long time, believe it or not, Royal Caribbean didn't really have water slides on their ships, but that has changed a lot over the last couple of years. Royal Caribbean offers water slides on most of its ships, although the Quantum Class, notably, don't have any. There are more than that, but I think a lot of people might be surprised not to find them on the Quantum Class. And these water slides are open every day of your cruise to enjoy. It's easy to label water slides as something for the kids to do only, but I'm going to tell you, as an adult, these are equally fun. The next thing you should try that's free on your cruise is to learn how to surf. If your roller craving cruise ship has a flow rider, you might try your hand at stand-up surfing. Available on a first-come, first-served basis, the flow rider is another signature activity on many roller craving cruise ships where waves are simulated using powerful water jets. To be honest, the mastering of the flow rider is more akin to skateboarding than perhaps actual ocean surfing, but there's still a terrific physical challenge and Something you can do over and over again, provided you wait in line for another turn. Another awesome free thing to do on a Royal Caribbean cruise is enjoy live music every night. Because Royal Caribbean's live musical entertainment is second to none in the cruise industry. Every night, you'll find plenty of live musical acts, including a guitarist, piano bar player, and even live bands. Much of this live music is meant to get the crowd into the experience, whether singing along or dancing to the music. A lot of cruisers will bar hop to check out the various live acts each evening. Sometimes, one performer is so good that you want to spend all evening enjoying it. One of my favorite free things to do on a cruise is go to trivia sessions because these are totally underrated cruise ship activities. Every day of the cruise, there will be daily trivia sessions. On any day of your sailing, Royal Caribbean will host all sorts of trivia sessions on a variety of topics. There can be general trivia, geography, music, favorite movies, and a lot more. Now, while there are cheap prizes you can win, the real fun in trivia is competing against other passengers to see who knows more on the topic. You're not really going to get anything exciting, maybe a keychain or a highlighter, but the challenge of it is the fun part of it. On longer sailings, if you're doing like a transatlantic per se, Royal Caribbean organizes progressive trivia where each trivia session counts towards an overall score. Something else that is absolutely phenomenal and free with your cruise are the Broadway shows. Select Royal Caribbean cruise ships offer Broadway shows that are the exact show you would have seen on the Great White Way and included in your cruise fare. The musicals available on Royal Caribbean include Mamma Mia, Hairspray, Grease, and more. And there's no cost to making an advanced reservation for these shows. And you definitely want to make sure you make a reservation so that way you can get in on one of these shows. Now, on other Royal Caribbean cruise ships that don't have Broadway shows, there are still musical and dance acts that perform in the theater. While these lack the plot of a full show, they still incorporate a great deal of musical melodies that you're likely to know. Another really fun, free thing to do on your next Royal Caribbean cruise is watch a new release movie. You can watch classics and recently released films on the ship's movie screen. 
these movie screens are giant and you can pull up a chair from just about anywhere on the pool deck to watch it with your family. Many people opt to stay in the pool and actually watch the movie while floating or maybe over in the hot tub. On Radiance class cruise ships, there's actually a dedicated movie theater that shows movies throughout the day. Something else you can try if your cruise ship has a sky pad is bungee jumping. How about combining virtual reality and a bungee experience? And there you've got the sky pad. The sky pad straps guests into bungee cords where you can bounce up and down with an optional VR helmet to provide the sensation of moving through an augmented reality world. And yeah, it's free. I think this next thing on our list that's free to do on a cruise, you might not think is actually an option, but you can go ice skating on a cruise ship probably in somewhere very warm like the Caribbean. Yeah, Real Caribbean offers ice skating on ships that have an ice skating rink in which you can put on a pair of ice skates and hit the ice rink during your sailing. You got to check the cruise compass for open skate sessions during your sailing. And don't worry, Real Caribbean will provide you with the complimentary skates and safety equipment. So that way, all you have to do is show up. But you're going to want to make sure that you pack long pants and socks. Those are the only two requirements that you must bring in order to participate in ice skating. Something else that's always fun for the families is to ride the carousel. Guests of any age, that means you, can enjoy a ride on the carousel in the boardwalk on Oasis-class cruise ships for no additional cost. The carousel is just plain fun for kids and adults. 18 figures are suspended from stainless steel poles along with one ADA-accessible chariot, and they're all rideable. Be sure to check out the carousel at night because like the fairs of the past, nighttime is really when these rides shine when they're all lit up and it's really cool. If you're like me, you may have think to yourself, man, skydiving looks fun, but I really don't want to jump out of an airplane. Well, you can do it safely on Royal Caribbean cruise ships that have a quantum class ship because they can offer the skydiving simulator. I fly by Ripcord is an indoor skydiving simulator. Rather than descend from 10,000 feet in the sky, Ripcord by iFly allows guests to get the sensation of skydiving without, of course, the incredible risk of jumping out of an airplane. Set in a recirculating indoor vertical wind tunnel, Guests can feel like they're falling from the heavens in a safe environment. You wear the gear and goggles as if you were jumping out of an airplane. So it's pretty authentic an experience as you get to go without actually having to go on an airplane. Train instructors are there with you the whole time in a totally controlled environment. Something else you'll find on Royal Caribbean's biggest cruise ships is a zip line. On Oasis class cruise ships, you can soar nine decks above the boardwalk neighborhood, stretching 82 feet from end to end. You'll need to be at least 52 inches tall to participate on the zip line and weigh a maximum of 275 pounds and at least 75 pounds. The zip line is free. You just got to sign a waiver. And without a doubt, one of my favorite free things to do on a Royal Caribbean cruise is weekend in the Bahamas. If your cruise happens to visit Perfect Day at Coco Key, it's really hard to overlook the value of what a day here gets you as part of your cruise. Royal Caribbean's private island in the Bahamas is more than just a plot of sand with an umbrella nearby. There's multiple beaches, a pool, and lots of food to keep you busy at no additional cost. So many cruises from the United States now visit Coco Key, and that means you get an entire day to take advantage of what you can do there. The perfect day moniker may be a marketing tool, but I really think there's some real truth to how much fun you can have while visiting. In fact, there's so much of the experiences found at Coco Key are included with your cruise fare. It's pretty incredible. And, you know, that really leads us to the fact that when you go on a cruise, we talked about 15 things here on this list that are included, but let's face facts, there's much more than just the 15 things here that you can do. And that's really what makes a cruise vacation such a great value. Because even Royal Caribbean <laughs> recognizes how much of a good deal a cruise is these days, especially compared to land vacations. You know, there was a recent quote by Royal Caribbean Group CEO Jason Liberty, who talked about the value proposition that a cruise vacation enjoys. He said, quote, the value gap between a cruise and a land-based vacation during the pandemic expanded quite a bit. We're still at a significant value to what it would cost for you to have anything close to a similar experience on land. End quote. A big component of what makes a cruise so darn enticing is everything that comes with it, including some of these fun activities. And to be fair, I think Royal Caribbean has really built a reputation over the years as the cruise line to go to when you want to enjoy lots to do on a ship. Royal Caribbean is really known for being a leader in the I can't believe they put that on a cruise ship category. So, this list here today gives you 15 free things to try. Rest assured, there's plenty more included with your cruise. And I think when you try a cruise, whether it's your first or seventh or 28th, you're really going to come away thinking how much is included with that cruise cost, especially if you then try to do a land vacation somewhere else and realize, oh, wait a minute, none of that is included with what I'm paying for my hotel or anything like that. So anyway, let me know in the comments below 
What is your favorite free thing to try on a Royal Caribbean cruise? Can't wait to hear what you like doing on board. And while you're down there, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications. That way, YouTube wants you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We'll talk again real soon.